up? It's Chris Horn, and you are watching Actors Daily Bread. This is where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life that you love. I'm so excited that you're here today because I'm doing something special for the next couple of weeks. I am showing you, giving you a little behind the scenes taste of what it's like to coach with me in the inner circle. If you don't know what that is, basically the inner circle is my VIP tier coaching program where it's very hands-on, where it's like a six month minimum commitment. We do everything from self tape audits to marketing, strategizing very specifically what my clients need. And so I'm excited. So you're gonna start seeing some, meeting some of my clients. I'm gonna do some live self tape audits. I'm gonna teach you how you can get your name in the hat so that I can audit some of your tapes live. Yes, I'll post that later today. But today I have a special guest and that's one of my clients. And her name is Gloria John. Let me let y'all see her. Hold on. Let me come there. Hey, Gloria. Hi, Christine. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. So listen, this is your first time watching Actors Daily Bread. I want to welcome you to all my replay watchers who will watch this later. What's up, replay watchers? <laughs> Love you guys. So if you have a comment, be, come on and say hi to Gloria John. You can use the comments so she can see you and say hi. Um, <laughs> Uh, or I have to, there we go. Dawn says, hi. hi she says, Dawn. Hey, Dawn. So <laughs> listen, I just wanted to talk. Uh, I'm not going to take too much of your time, but I, people have been wanting to know, like, what is it like to, to do this deeper work? And Gloria, you're based out here in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And really quick, tell everyone watching who you are and what you do and what some of your specialties are. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Gloria John uh, and I am an actor and a former dentist actually um, <laughs> who had her own practice for eight years, uh, made a really bad financial decision I guess to move out here but this was my passion being an actor. Um, so I moved out here about two and a half years ago, this will be my third year. Um, I've been acting for over about ten years. I started at Second City Chicago, the infamous comedy place. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, I'm pursuing my passion out here as an artist, as an actor. Awesome. And <laughs> right now you are you are repped. You have an agent and a manager. And mm -hmm. um, you are working tirelessly. You just took some amazing new headshots. So proud of you for that. They look really great. Um, you know, what I love about you being out here in L.A., and that's, this may really help someone else who's watching, where did you figure, where did you feel you've been struggling? Because you're a hustler. Like, let me just say that. Like you said you were a dentist, but tell people when we got on the phone to talk about how you came to this country, where you're from and how you came to this country. Like, I want to hear share a little bit about that story. Sure. It's a very interesting story. I am a hustler. You're right. Um, <laughs> I, <laughs> so when I was 14, my parents decided to move back to Korea. And um, I told my mom and dad, I'm going to stay here because my goal is to become a doctor. And um, I pretty much, they couldn't convince me otherwise to go back with them. Um, so they rented me a room from this lady. Uh, and it wasn't really luxurious. I had a, a bed and a black and white TV. And that might give away my age. Black and white TV and I, uh, a, a little foam to sleep on. And literally, I think it took me like two hours to read a page of science book. So for me, it was a daunting task to be in high school where I don't speak the language and take the examination to become a doctor. But I, I accomplished that. And then I realized that uh, in my life that this is not satisfying anymore. I want to always want it to be in the arts, in, in, in what I do with acting. My mom comes from entertainment background and I think okay. I got that blood, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, that's my little story. I started living by myself in this country when I was 14. To 14? I just want y'all to hear that. 14 years old, living uh, living by herself in the United States. Uh, uh, Kyle Singh says, go Gloria. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Kyle? I mean, that, that determination, I mean, just speaks volumes. And, and we haven't known each other long, but I just see that as you've been attacking and uh, in your your acting career. And I, I think that's really inspiring because there's a lot of people watching who are working a nine to five or in another career totally. And you were a dentist and to be like, to say, 
it's not too late for me to try something new. And just because I went on this path doesn't mean I have to stick with this path for the rest path for the rest of my life. Mm-hmm. I think that is what that's when I talked to you, that inspired me. I was like, oh, I gotta work with this woman. <laughs> Daily. Daily, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, I don't think it's too late to go for your dream. And, yeah. You know, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Let's jump into it. Listen, so if you're just joining us, I'm here with Gloria John. This is a, one of my wonderful VIP inner circle clients. And this is a special episode of Actors Daily Bread. And you're going to meet some more of my clients in the coming weeks. But Gloria, you know, you joined my Booking Magnet Academy, which is my, for those of you who don't know, it's my like entry level um, monthly membership. Um, it's not really uh, direct hands on, but there is some great group group coaching and support, but then you wanted to step it up a bit. So I'm just curious, um, cause we connected, we were watching videos, I'm sure YouTube things. Why did you want to um, join the inner circle? Like what work did you want to accomplish with that? Well, first of all, I did look at a lot of programs out in LA. I think I've taken so many, I'm like a class nerd person. I took <laughs> all the classes. Um, I, I'm active studier. And and then I looked into your program and I uh, looked into the Booking Magnet Academy for a while before I decided to join. Um, and I looked at your career and I'm like, uh, it just sounded very um, genuine where, where you're coming from. It was honest and everything made sense to me in Booking Mag- Magnet Academy and, and also I needed some guidance because it's kind of like throwing everything on the wall and see what sticks when you first move here. You don't know where to, how to, because this is a show business. It's not just your craft. You have to be on top of your craft as well, but it, it is a business too. And right. coming from a business background, I ran my own practice for eight years. I know I need to know how to navigate that. And right. you are a very successful actress as we all know. And so um, I need to learn from someone who's walked that steps. And when I looked at your program, I'm like, she knows what she's talking about and she knows how to guide you. So I'm like, I need to make this investment because if you don't make an investment in your business, you're also not going to profit either. Right. That's a, that's a great one. For time, just, you know, being out here and throwing things on the wall and see see what's there. So, I, yeah. I hear that a lot from people who I talk to, even people who I don't end up working with, just when they fill out their questionnaires. Like one, they're like, Christine, I just want to know what steps I should be taking and when. Because I think the issue is, and speak to this, because you are a, a you stay in class. You're not one of those people who's like, I never invest. Like you stay in classes, scene study classes out here in LA. Like you stay in them. So how have you navigated? I'm curious, and this may help someone watching. Mm-hmm. Now you have all these voices in your head. Even when we started doing some work together, you're like, oh, because I'm like, Gloria, you got to go there. What are you doing? Uh-uh, come on. Like, bring it. And you're like, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so how how have you started? Because I know we're, we're still early in our work together. But how have you started to navigate in what I like to call eat the fish, spit out the bones? Because you may have gotten some great gems from Coach A. And it doesn't mean Coach B is wrong. But how are you, how are you navigating that for yourself now? Uh, I'm ne- well, eat the fish and spit out the bone. Um, I'm navigating in a way that, uh, I think a lot of times you don't know how to go about, uh, marketing yourself to, to people who are, I guess the gatekeepers or, you know, people who are in the industry. And a lot of times we're very like intimidated how to do that. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm learning a lot through you, how you do them, um, like love notes, sending out love, and uh, also, um, you know, not doing too much, you know, to the point where you are getting, you know, you don't want to do that either. So the the etiquette of it, nobody ever tells you what the etiquette is, Mm -hmm. and that's why we're afraid to do anything. Right, Um, because there's so much fear instilled in us. yeah, Yeah, like I'll go to casting director workshop and I won't say a word because I'm like, Ooh, I don't want them to think this of me, that of me, you know, like kind of a thing. But I don't know. It, it all marinates what you what you're teaching and, and what other coaches. Are, it, it's all kind of like blend, not blend in together, but it, they, I think it takes experience and a lot mm-hmm. of voice, a lot of coaching to know 
that etiquette of how to navigate yourself in this business. And, and, and that's now I'm kind of getting the hang of it. Okay. Okay. This is, this is how you do it. This is how right. you, I'm and, always like not being thirsty. Like I think people are afraid to yeah. put this out there because they're like, well, this cast and director hates postcards and they don't want me to say anything. I haven't booked anything, so I shouldn't even say anything. Mm-hmm. And it's like, why can't we send them good energy? Why can't we congratulate them on that Emmy? Why can't we say thank you for calling me in? Like I had two auditions yesterday. As soon as I got home, I put those thank you notes in the mail. Like no one's going to hate on a thank you. And if they do, like that's their problem. Like I'm still going to be me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Let's, one of the, my favorite things, in addition to strategy and you just got a new manager, whoop, whoop, um, yeah. <laughs> outside of those things, one of my favorite things about the work I do with you guys in the inner circle is that repetition of self-taping and working the camera and mastering your audition. Because I know I'm a broken record with all y'all, like what you do on the cameras, what you do in the room, nothing changes. Mm-hmm. Talk a little about what you've learned in the past month and a half about what you were doing and how are you seeing changes or room for improvement? Mm. I think um, with the assignments that you've given me um, with self tape and whatnot, um, it just kind of made me realize that I was, as far as being doing the auditions and self tape, I was also intimidated in that sense. Like I just wanted to, get it right, but there is no right, really. Mm-hmm. And you have to put put your artistry and who you are into it. But then there's also, you have to know what TV land requires. Like for instance, the outfits. Um, I never even thought about that, like looking into you know TV and like taking a screenshot and ordering the exact outfit. You know, you know what I mean? Like what they want, specific TV shows, want specific looks, specific way of talking, mm-hmm. the pace. I've just learned so much as to, oh, okay, so this is why, this is what the next level, I needed to know this, not, not just, because I come from a theater background like you, so mm-hmm. I just worked on being not too big, but then right. it was small, like there, <laughs> You, you still have to bring it, the emotion. And you have to connect. People feel and connect, yeah, connecting. Yeah. So it just, my I think my performance kind of became like just saying the lines right with the right pace, but mm. not putting all of myself into it. So I, I'm still working on that. Yes. Um, But so many things, just so many things that you, and, and you just, when I have a self-tape, you, even if you're at a wedding, you just get back <laughs> to me like that night. <laughs> That's what Gloria's talking about is, and listen, if you're watching like, okay, what is this inner circle? If you want more information, just put me in the comments. And even if you're watching the replay, I'll, I'll see the message and I'll send you some information um, because enrollment is open. This is why I'm so excited to share Gloria with you. But I was in New Orleans. This is another bonus of working with me. So my inner circle clients, when the real auditions actually come in outside of the work we're doing practicing, I tell them, I tell all you guys like, do it. I want you to be empowered. So I want you to make choices. I want you to make a choice. I want you to tape it. Do what you think you feel good about. Send it to me before you go in, in person, or send it to me before you tape it. Let's talk about it. And I was in New Orleans in my hotel room, like no lights, like, okay, <laughs> do this. It was like, <laughs> I but we made it. We made I, it. I really think you would get back to me that night. Like that, like you were at a wedding and you know, you still cared so much to, coach me and that helps so much to bring the audition. It's just that little bit of difference that we don't know what it mm-hmm. takes, I think is is so important. Um, most of the artists out here, actors are good, but there's the technical and then there's stuff that you need to know, I think, that that we don't know. Yeah. If well, you're working. I- I get very invested in y'all and I'm so, I'm Gloria, I'm so excited for everything that's coming down your journey and coming down the pipeline for you. And thank you for taking this time. Before you, before we wrap and, and go, let you go, what words of wisdom, not, or not wisdom, what piece of advice or what what helping word can you give someone who's watching? And not about just working with me in Inner Circle, but just the actor who's at home feeling frustrated, Maybe they haven't gotten that first co-star yet. You know, that's something we're really working hard on. You do a lot of film and they were just feeling like, oh, 
what's the point? You know, like what words of encouragement can you leave them with today? I think at the end of the day, you have to respect yourself as an artist. Um, just being an artist and actor itself is a respectable walk and a craft. And also know that this takes time. It's not just all of a sudden, you know, I mean, it, it happens to some people, but it's a journey and, and you have to respect yourself. Self-care and your mindset is very important. And um, just know that it takes time. It just doesn't happen in a day. Um, and just keep putting the work and know that that work is on its way to pay off. It, it is on, everybody's time is different, but right. yeah. Everybody's time and everybody's journey. Yeah. It's Thank you for that. Thank you. <laughs> All right, you guys, I can't say it any better. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to follow Gloria John. Gloria, can you, um, what are some of your, your Instagram, not your Instagram, but what are your social oh, handles yeah. that you're most active on? Uh, I'm on Instagram as Gloria John Hawaiian Eyes because I grew up in Hawaii when I was little. Um, and then you can find me on Gloria John. Oh, and uh, I think the film that I was a lead, lead in, that I think I know is going to be on Direct TV Shorts on September 24th. Yeah. What's yeah. the name of it? Because I'll put it in the, the comments. Vegas, the Drifter. Say it again. Vegas Kid and The Drifter. Vegas and, Kid. Uh, yeah. I played uh, a woman that at the end cons everybody and runs with the money. It was a <laughs> to play. I love it. That sounds yeah, juicy. A lot of fun. Yeah. Okay. As soon as we end, Gloria, you don't go anywhere. I'm going to get that information so I can put it in the, I'm going to edit the post. That way all your stuff will be there for people to check out. Um, and if also if you, and if you're at home, if you're watching and you're a writer, producer, casting director, Gloria also is going to make, she has, she's got, she's got that kick-ass vibe going on with her, like uh, her, what do you call it? Uh, stunts, you know? martial yeah. arts. Like she's fierce, honey. <laughs> Gloria, thank you for watching. Again, if you're interested in working with me one-on-one -on -one in the inner circle, just drop a me in the comments, even in the replay, and I'll be sure to send you some information. Gloria, have an amazing day. Thank you so much for being here. I'm excited about our work together. Everybody watching, see you next time. Bye. Bye everyone.